Hey guys, today we will explore what is hierarchy function and how to uh, use hierarchy function. So sometimes we have to deal with uh, hierarchical data, right? So the data with the parent-child relationship, uh, it could be uh, a geographical uh, hierarchy or an organizational hierarchy. So, so when we have to deal with uh, hierarchical data, so this hierarchy function helps us to transform the data and I mean to expand uh, the data into into multiple columns okay so that we can better visualize it in the BA tools so let's say uh, we have this data node ID uh, parent ID node name so it's nothing but uh, the uh, node is nothing but the child we can assume okay and the parent and then we have the node name which which represents both the parent and child so meaning uh, let's say I have this node ID 1 which is nothing but a city London and and in the adjacent column I have this parent ID captured which is 4 so it says the parent for this node ID 1 is 4 so 4 is nothing but UK so this node name gives me the names of all these root nodes so this first column is the root node where you have unique uh, record for each right so the second column gives us a relationship the parent so the parent for two is three so for one the parent is four so for London it is UK and for four the parent is five so which is Europe so that's the hierarchy so Europe UK and London so the prerequisite for hierarchy is the uh, I mean to use this hierarchy function the the hierarchy should be captured as an adjacent column so as you see here the child is adjacent to the parent so only two columns are used to capture the entire uh, relationship the hierarchy between this parent and ch child so traditionally uh, most of the times this is how the hierarchy will be captured in the database so so when we have similar data set where the hierarchy is captured in adjacent columns then we can go ahead and use hierarchy uh, function and click so what hierarchy does is it expands this to adjacent columns into multiple nodes and it gives us a way to get individual columns for all these nodes so so when in the UI you can either represent it as a, a separate filter or it could be a columns in the table or even if you could see right the way it was there and now the way it was represented so it basically expands right to helps us to visualize the entire uh, hierarchy so that's how this uh, hierarchy function works and it has got some pre uh, set of uh, arguments okay so few are mandatory like the first three the node the parent uh, the node name they are all mandatory arguments and the remaining are all optional and it's it depending upon the use case and the uh, the way you want to uh, uh, show your data you can accordingly use the rest of the arguments okay so but the first three are uh, kind of mandatory ones the node id the parent id and the node name and then followed by you get all these additional fields node name path name and depth okay and you also could see this node name is getting split into multiple uh, other columns depending upon the depth so when we say depth the level of hierarchy it has so if we have a continent we have a country we have a city so we have three levels right so each levels are captured as three different nodes automatically so the number of depth you have uh, same number of node names will be created okay so let's go ahead and copy this uh, script we'll just give a try in uh, click sense so i have this data over here it's simple inline load uh, basically the same data just copied okay so so we have the node name the parent and the uh, sorry the node id parent id and node name so and we have uh, this path name the delimiter so path name is nothing but it gives us the entire uh, path okay the you can navigate from the uh, top hierarchy to the bottom one okay so and, and with the delimiter delimiter you can define whatever delimiter you want so this path name is useful in cases where you want to visualize it i mean there are examples like uh, in case of click view we can use this field path name field uh, to uh, 
visualize this in a list box okay we'll see it at the end of this video so so if you have any use for this path name you can very well use it so whereas in clicksense uh, so we, our focus is on these node names the individual node names okay so let me quickly go ahead and reload this we'll just see a quick preview in the data model so that we can better visualize how the hierarchy is created so as you could see it is same like similar to the one we saw in the help so we have this node params and all the node names expanded uh, finally the path and depth okay so now we can go back to ui and we can use these fields right so as you could see i have a, a simple table here i have uh, used all these nodes so let's say uh, node one is my uh, continent okay this is my country and this could be my city right so so i we have this uh, flexibility to use this in any of the fields or the filters so basically it uh, the hierarchy function has expanded this in table into multiple nodes and we can use it accordingly so i can uh, drill the, click on a particular city and i can see their ancestors the parents uh, germany and its uh, parent europe right so we can also visualize it in other modes like so for example i have this um, organization chart over here so we could uh, visualize it in that using these uh, visuals right So now I could see under Europe I have two countries and uh, city under this country, right? So when we created hierarchy, we also uh, had a column called path name, right? So we will see how to use that path name in click view. So I'll go to click view. So I have this uh, uh, same data model loaded over here. So if I I can just add a list box, I can add this field path name. Remember when we uh, defined this, we gave a delimiter. Okay, so we have to use the same delimiter over here, and what you get is a tree view. Okay, so you could see the continent, the country, and the city. So, so according to use case or according to visuals, we can use this path name as well. Okay, so so hope you got some basic understanding of what is hierarchy and what it does and how to use it so okay and we have one more function called hierarchy belongs to we'll explore that in our next video and we'll see how it is different from hierarchy and the use case for hierarchy belongs to please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching